In the beginning, there was darkness, and then... Bang. The quest for answers begins here, in a cloud of dust and gas, stars blazing in a place we call the universe. You're not trying to have sex with me right now, are you? Not right now, but I think maybe in about 45 minutes. Life on the edge. It's hydrogen, the lightest, simplest, most abundant element in the universe. In fact, in our galaxy, there are 400 billion galaxies, just in our galaxy. And how can it be that all human beings on Earth owe their lives to Alex Filipenko? Though a supernova is visually very, very bright, the visible light is only 1% of 1% of 1% of 1% of 1% of 1% one ten-thousandth of the entire energy emitted by this colossal explosion. Giving birth to an endless expanding ass. You sh a flat light beam up, and even it won't leave. The curve back around, so you won't be able to see it from the outside. Hence the name hole. There's always gravity pulling you back down. The universe, where the heat rises to a scorching zero million degrees. Right now, this dance will end in catastrophe. One teaspoonful of neutron star material would weigh zero billion tons. So imagine you take a star about one and a half. Then you compress all of that material down to a very small space, about the size of Manhattan. You've just made yourself a neutron star. But how were these stars born? If you've got f***ing, you've got a star. The amount of pressure pushing out on the star just matches the amount of gravity pulling in on the star. And they bang, and it can sit there and happily until something changes. The heat begins to soar. The cloud spins into a flattened dick. The pillars of creation. Others much larger and hotter. Size definitely matters. Squeezing that amount of mass into such a small space rattles the heavens. It's a lot of syllables, but it just means it's hot there and small things become big. A catastrophic explosion. Small, cool red stars like this one, Sirius B, which can be seen only faintly aside its companion, Sirius. You feel gravity all the time when you try to jump or you try to climb a rock. And degeneracy pressure takes over. So it's really amazing stuff. A white dwarf is the final stage in the life of a sun-like star. But it's not quite dead yet. I like to call white dwarfs retarded stars. Scientists are still studying the aftermath Even of the explosion, clearly, those but they think Supernova 2006 G1 has a lot to teach them. It won't be able to fuse that helium into heavier elements, like carbon and oxygen, until the core gets sufficiently hot. And that's because it's hard to get helium nuclei close enough together give up or let go or the rope breaks, gravity immediately wins and you fall. By combining the neutrons with the neutrons and turning them into neutrons, you now have an object which is made almost entirely out of neutrons and gravity wins. Earth owe their lives to Alex Filipenko. Though a supernova is visually very, very bright, the visible light is a... That will be the fate of our sun. And that's the essence of, of what makes a star a star.